Alright, so this is a very quick video to show you some severe RFI effects, radio frequency interference caused by some LED work lights that I installed on the tractor a couple of months ago. Problem with very many, if not most, of the inexpensive Asian LED lights are they use inside of them switch mode power supplies. These power supplies generate a tremendous amount of RF interference that can have really detrimental effects and I'm going to demonstrate uh, some of them for you right now. First one is the radio reception see right here is the antenna for the radio so let me just show you we have no problem here we got very strong signals very very strong signals here this switch right here controls the front work lights all I'm gonna do is turn them on the rear ones use the stock halogen bulbs notice when I turn the rear lights on those rear lights are on and they have no effect on the reception of the radio however turning on the front lights you can see we've completely annihilated the signal. So, here's the first one. There's the second one. There's the third one. There's the fourth one. There's the fifth one. There's the sixth one. Every once in a while, you might be able to hear something coming through. But basically, the uh, the lights the lights create so much RF interference that it wipes out the the radio. This interference, by the way, can cause other problems inside a something like a tractor. It can affect the instrumentation system, it can affect the readout of some of the sensors and things like that. So this is a warning. These aftermarket LED lights, inside them, it's more than, and yes, I've got some jerry right here, but that's only because I'm just trying to see what 16 LEDs would do as far as lighting goes compared to the stock halogen bulbs. So I've just got them jerry-rigged up there. I'll be replacing them with a bar attachment of lights. Anyway, inside this housing, it's more than just LED lights. There's actually a small power supply. It's called a switch mode power supply. And if not properly filtered, the power supply that's inside here you feed it 12 volts or 13 volts coming in the power supply generates a constant voltage for the LED bulbs but in the process if they're not filtered properly that power supply t dumps tons and tons of interference radio frequency interference back onto those 12 volt lines they go of course and they feed the rest of the tractor like the radio so I'm going to get this posted, give you a heads up. The way to solve this problem would be for the Asian manufacturers to include some filtering inside these LED light assemblies to filter that RF interference from getting out onto the power lines. And it would cost them no more than four or five dollars worth of some capacitors and inductors inside here to make uh, a small filter network here, power line filter. 
But what I'm going to have to do is make up my own, design my own, and install it so that that interference doesn't get onto the lines, solve the problem. So, just want to give you a quick heads up, people.